What is happening guys, HDX Infinity here and today I have got my first ever trading series. This is trading to inform Ozil and um, I'm not stealing G-Man's idea, I was just planning this ages and shout out to him, he's a great guy. And um, so as you can see I'm just naming my team, I don't know why I named it Fett, but anyway we're confirming our club name as Frog Eyes. And so, as we go here, we got a free pack. So I was wondering, who are we going to get in a pack? We got 500 coins. I could do quite a bit with that in a minute. But who are we going to get? And it's a bronze pack. Like, who wants a bronze pack? Unless it's got, like, a squad builder or something. Not a squad, a squad fitness or something in it. Who wants a bronze pack? As you can see, we get up someone called Lang, a right back. It's an all-players pack, I think. But as you can see here, we got players like rare players, Forbes, Sharp, and Lang. And um, I'm going to say in this video we do make quite a bit of coins, not loads, but it's enough to really get going in this series. So you can see we've got a Shorb here, there you go, 74 pace, pretty good for a bronze, 62 rated, 74 pace, and he looks pretty good. There's Forbes here, Scottish, doesn't look great, and Lang, again, is not great, but everyone else we just decide to quick sell because they're not really worth that much at all. We only get 153 coins. 143 coins but if you look it is enough and um we'll go out here and we will go i don't know where we'll go now i think we're going to go into the transfer market if i'm right yep we do we go into silver players and this is the tactic i've showed you i think the trading tip i've showed you before you want to search for minimum price 200 coins maximum price 300 coins and silver players and what you want to do here it's hard to trade with like that with on the actual game we look immediately in a phobie at the arsenal legend of phobie <laughs> but there you go we don't really find anyone um yet but as we go away here we can find a humphrey again 23 seconds left only 300 coins on him but we go across to the next one the first one on the here they go 200 coins we're like well let's bid 250 coins i think he's worth about 5k that's the funny thing Again, there's a Bolivar. Um, that's not who we look at, but there's a Yedinak. And yeah, you see, we've been on 400 coins and we will sell them on for a nice profit in a minute. But how we go here, Humphrey, we do get out bid. He goes up a lot in the last 10 seconds. I look for another one we can bid on. There's one for 250. And I'm just like, that's not worth it. I can't be asked to wait that long. So, Humphreys we don't get, but we do get the Yednak. I think it's 400 coins we get them for. There you go, we were removing from the transfer list. And there is a Yednak, we did purchase them for 400 coins. And we now we go, we send them to the transfer list. And that is our first buy of the series, is Yednak. And um, I will go to the transfer market now and look at what price Yednak actually is. I think he's about 700 coins, but... There's only one on the market for that, and I don't know why I put them up for so cheap in the end. And uh, so we go any on both, what we should have done. <laughs> we go maximum buy now, 500 coins. As you can see, there's no one up for that. Then we go to 1k, knowing that I have actually sold them for 1.3k before, and there is one for 700 coins. I don't know why I didn't just leave it, because he, I could have just waited and put them up for 800 coins and make a like 400 coin profit, a massive profit on a player like Yedinak. In the end here, we do put him up for 650 coins, making 150 coins profit if he does sell. It's enough at the minute, we just need small profit, and then we get it. There's a Lang here, and we do put all the bronze players up for 150 coins, and eventually put them up. Um, and one of them does sell second time. I'm not going to say who, but one does. And here we go, we go back. Two, and we did, Yednak did eventually sell for 650 coins, sold first time, and that is good. And again, we here, we put the bronze players up, I think now actually for six hours, just to make sure, I want at least one of them to sell, one of them does sell. Again, Forbes, look at him, he's not a great player at all. And then we also put Lang up, the 6-3 rated right back. And I, off camera, I did purchase two players with the same method, it is Jali and El Ganassi as we'll see now there you go and um, I bought Jali for about 250 coins and El Ganassi for about 250 coins making big profits and as we can see Shorb did actually sell again we do eventually quick sell Lang 
and forth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Trading to Inform Urzil. Um, if you liked the episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will, hopefully, if it ends, catch you all guys next time.